Hi boys and girls, welcome to today's video. I don't know about you, but I'm super excited to learn all about Jesus. So let's go see what Coach Taylor has planned for us. Hello boys and girls, I'm so excited to share my message with you today. But before we begin, I want to ask you a question. Do you know what a shepherd is? Maybe one of my friends here can give you a hint. Yes, you're right. A shepherd is someone who looks after, guides, cares for, protects, and leads a flock of sheep. Now in John chapter 10, verse 14, Jesus describes himself as the good shepherd, and he describes you and me as his sheep. Now that means that Jesus is the one who takes care of us. He guards us and protects us and he leads us. Now my favorite thing about that verse is the fact that he uses the word good. He calls himself the good shepherd. Now that means that he knows exactly what he's doing. So that means that we can trust him no matter what situation we are in. So I want you to repeat three things today. The first thing is, Jesus is my good shepherd. In John chapter 10 verse 3, Jesus says that he calls his sheep by name. And that means that he knows your name and my name. He will never get us mixed up with anyone else or any of his other children. And think about how many children God has. Now that's a lot of children. But he knows us and he knows everything about us. So now I want you to repeat after me. Jesus is my good shepherd and Jesus calls me by name. If you carry on reading in John chapter 10 verse 3, Jesus says he calls his sheep by name and he leads them out. But what does it mean to lead someone out? What does he lead us out from? Well, Jesus leads us out from any situation that we don't want to be in. So for example, he leads us out of sadness into joy. He leads us out of sickness into healing. And he leads us out of death into life. So now I want you to repeat these three things after me. Jesus is my good shepherd. Jesus calls me by name. And Jesus leads me out. Some sheep don't always pay attention to where they're going. Sometimes they get so concerned with what they're eating that they wander off and get lost. But that's what the shepherd is there for. The shepherd leaves the flock of sheep to go and find that sheep to bring it back to the flock. And in Luke chapter 15, Jesus tells a story of how if a shepherd has a hundred sheep and one of them get lost, that shepherd will go out to find that one sheep and he will bring that sheep back to the flock. And that's exactly what Jesus does for us. No matter where we are, he will always go out to find us. He will always save us whenever we are in trouble. I'm going to show you a video now of how our good shepherd is always willing to leave the 99 to find the one.
So for today's activity, we've got a picture of our good shepherd to color in. You can find the link for the picture in the description below. Now, as you see at the bottom, we have the scripture, John 10 verses 11. I am the good shepherd. So I'll show you how I colored my picture in. I'm looking forward to seeing how all of yours turn out. Let's end off this message in prayer. Jesus, we just thank you for being our good shepherd. We thank you for taking care of us and we thank you for calling us by our name and for never forgetting who we are. We thank you for always guiding us and we always look to you as our good shepherd. And we thank you for all that we have in our lives, Lord, and we honour you and praise you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you everyone for taking the time to watch this video. I hope that you enjoyed it and I'll see you next time. Be blessed. Oh, wasn't it so amazing learning all about Jesus the Good Shepherd? Thank you so much, Coach Taylor. I hope you guys are going to have so much fun doing the craft. And now it's time for praise and worship. So jump up and sing along. Baba, he's the Good Shepherd everywhere I go. My Savior, I will follow where He goes. Jesus loves me, finds me, cares for me, watches, saves me, leads back home. Baba, He's the Good Shepherd. Everywhere I go, He knows. Baba, He is my Oh, this is the end of the lesson, guys. But thank you so much for watching and participating. It's been so much fun. And I hope you have a fantastic week. Hi, everybody. Thanks so much for watching our video. I hope it was a blessing to you. If you liked it, please give it a big thumbs up. If you haven't already subscribed and would like to, please hit the subscribe button down below. Hit the bell button if you want to be notified every time we post a video. And if you'd like to communicate with us, please feel free to leave a comment down below. Have a blessed day.